right, boo. I like your get up. Thank you. Thank what you. do we call this? This is, this is my casual, just like, yeah, my I casual thing. Like you know, this. This is just, I threw this on. I had no thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> just you don't know. It just happened. Just happened, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up and you're just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this just, is just how it looks I like. Just, I was, there was no lights. I just picked it up. <laughs> there were no lights. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you I'm for so me. glad to finally have We were supposed to be together last week. Yes. And what happened? You were sick and you had... Yes. A... And I'm still fighting it. Mm -hmm. But I pushed through. Yeah. What do you have? A throat infection? No. I had like my voice left and then it developed into a cold and it just became complicated. But I'm good now. It's a whole It's a whole... Story. It's a whole... Yeah. Let's get to know who Mumbi is. Let's so you were, bo you were born here? Yes, I was born in Kenya. And then you were brought up in Botswana and yeah, states. Yeah, and yeah, tell yeah. Us yeah. About it. So I was born in Kenya and I lived here until I was three years old. And then I grew up in Botswana from the time I was three until I was about 10. Mm -hmm. And then from then I moved to Miami and then I moved to Dallas and that's where I'm at right now. How is it living in Miami? It was cool. Party Central 24 7. Party Central, but I was definitely the only girl from Africa in my high school. What? Yeah. Did they used to ask you ignorant questions? Yes, very. Or oh, did you walk from Africa? Yeah, how did you how get here? It? Was it Tarzan? You know, I used to tell them that I, get, I, got, I got there by boat, so. And they believed it. They believed it. You know what Cowboy said? So, so, you know Cowboy, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, Cowboy said that he, um, so he studied in the UK. Yeah. And he used to tell guys that um, he's a prince <laughs> back in Africa. And people used to believe it. Yeah. He was like, I have a kingdom. Oh my god. And they bought it. Can that, you imagine? Yeah, they it's it's that real. It's, it's that it's real. They they bad. they believe anything and it's it's, it's kind of sad, you it know? Is. Like hmm. it's terrible. Let me tell hmm. you something else that's sad. Um apparently people feel mm -hmm. that um for us to appreciate our culture, our African culture, it takes someone like the Marvel Studios uh -huh. to do um Black Panther for us to feel some sort of pride and and ownership if I could call it that. Did you feel the same way? No. Okay. Um, I'm 100% African. Always been. My parents always made it a point to remind me no matter where I was. In the house, we spoke Ikuyu. I still speak Ikuyu. I spoke Swahili. Like, it doesn't matter where we were. Mm -hmm. I was, was aware of my heritage. And to be honest, your heritage is what, when you know who you are, that's what sets you apart. You know what I mean? Like, that sets your identity already in stone when you know who you are. Because in the American culture, you can easily lose yourself. So I never felt. But you know what's funny about the Wakanda thing is, um, when I came to America, people used to make fun of people from Africa. You know what I mean? Like, oh, African booty scratcher and all of that. But when Wakanda came out, boy, they love them. They love us now. So oh, now we're cool. Now we're cool. Now, now, we're, now, we're, now, now we can sit. Now we can sit at the table. Now, now, now we're allowed. Yeah. You know? So, but hey. It's okay, but it was a dope movie. It's it great that they showcased it. It's fine. Yeah. We accept it. So can you speak to Swana? Uh, no. Can I say Hoboa? But just a little. Just a little. Yes. Let's talk about having a solo career yeah. in one of the, the most competitive industries in the world. Yeah. yeah. God damn. So yeah. you're going head to head with Rihanna, Kimbe, yeah. Alicia Keys, everybody in yeah. the game. How is it trying to like transverse boundaries and you know what I mean? And yeah. still try and you know yeah. have that career going to be honest I think um, the most important thing to remember as an artist is to be self-aware and to be true to yourself and stay in your lane do you you know what I'm saying because that is your power your uniqueness and your own identity is your power so um, I don't like viewing competition as competition mm. I just like viewing it as Mumbi doing Mumbi and people who love it, they love it. Mm -hmm. And that's just how I perceive it. Okay. Yeah. The hashtag is here, Amina. Tuna hang out, tuna mumbi. Mumbi una zabonga shen? Ah, na zabonga kidogo. Oh! So we come by? Si come by. Manja me sonka kali. I'm kidding. Let's talk about... Um, uh, so Tanashe, Tanashe, yeah. Yeah. Tanashe, she said that, um, was it Tanashe? I think it was. So she said something like how there are certain female artists mm -hmm. who own the industry and they don't give or they don't give other people a chance to shine and whatnot. Do you think the cattiness of um, acts, this is now general, female and male, mm -hmm. um, stops others from succeeding? <sighs> okay. Let's be real. Um, I really try and ignore all that because mm -hmm. I feel like you have to put yourself in a position where you're so fixated in what you're doing, you block out 
all that extra stuff because people are always gonna look at you if you're doing something right people are always gonna look at you as competition you know what I mean so I mean you have to invite that it, it's part of the process you can't you can't fight it like that's just what it is like you see me as competition cool but I'm not competing with you I'm just doing me boo you know so I don't um, I don't really I've never personally experienced because I, I guess I'm just cool but I've never experienced cattiness so whatever like I'm chilling yeah. yeah, I like how you're like, I'm just cool. I'm just, yo. Me, I'm cool. Listen. I don't know about I you. I don't know about y'all, but, but uh, I'm cool. I'm chilling. I'm just doing my thing. Yeah. Are you back home now, or are you... Yeah, in I'm in transitioning, like, okay. I'm moving back. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the goal. Like, at least, if not, I'll be back and forth more often. Yeah. Yeah. Someone told me it's scary. Who was it? I don't know. Someone told me it was scary. Um, she's a girl called Craving Yellow mm -hmm. on Instagram, and she said it's so scary when you live in the diaspora and then you come back home and you're not sure if you're going to get work or if you're going to, you know, transition well into whatever industry or field yeah. that you've studied. Yeah. Um, you know, you studied. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, to be honest, I was here the whole of 2014, struggling, trying to um, find myself and find my footing in the music industry and I've never felt ready and I've never felt like it was my time until now you know what I'm saying so um, I'll, I'll get spiritual on you real quick the Bible does say that <laughs> hey, <amen. laughs> Pastor, be one time. okay listen <laughs> so the Bible does say that um, there is a time for every time and opportunity for every man and I do believe in that so I don't really I don't know it doesn't I don't I be chilling like listen I feel like this is my moment and it's taken a while to get here and it's taken some time to get to where I'm at right now and that's just how I perceive it mm. yeah all right so now that you're coming back home there's certain things we have to talk about so okay. we have a segment on the show it's called third world problems yeah we're gonna play some videos so I just want to I want to get you ready as you come back <sighs> okay to Africa all right in Wakanda and the world uh -huh. and all of that right uh -huh. so I want to get you ready cool. um, so that's there are certain things that happen only in the third world okay Cool. And these are some of those things that do happen yeah. to us. So yeah. I just, I'm just trying to, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> All right, so do we have the clips ready? Great. All right, so take a look at this one. All right, so what's, hey. Wow. Okay, so you get to, well, you know we're trying to go up. No. The world is against us. You're no. wondering why am I not who is Who did this? Trying who recorded walk. this? Why didn't they help them? Yeah? No, this is disrespectful. Like. Who was shooting this? Like, I want to talk to them. <laughs> you want to have a chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> days. How does this happen? And you can see that Yo, people are coming down. I just want to help them. Like, why are they laughing? And why? Because so you see the guys are trying to pull her. I know. And she's like, oh I don't know why. No, I got this. I'm oh, and then eventually she's like, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't. But she really tried that at the beginning. She's like, oh, I made it. Oh, you know yeah. what? Effort, effort. I give her, I give her points for confidence. <laughs> Definitely, confidently wrong, but yeah. I give her points. Yeah, because she has to be confident. You have to believe. <laughs> to believe. In possibilities. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at the next one. Okay. Um, so, the next slide. Okay. What is happening? I am actually not even sure. What is know, going what is? on? What are they fighting? I don't know. <laughs> there may be a cow. Is it a cow? Oh my I'm god. I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> Are you serious? All those people. For a dog. <laughs> that was a whole puppy. Like, they boosted that. No, Come I see in Africa we help on another movie. So if you <laughs> see your brother trying to pull a rat in the struggle, help them. Help them. All right, so let's take a look at this final video. Okay. That world only. This only happens here. All right, so Hi, we're dancing yes, and we're dancing. Gwara gwara. Okay. Shaku, shaku. Okay, she's killing it. All right. All right. She's going okay, down. Okay, boo. All right. Let's go. All right, let's baby. Go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where are her friends? Did anybody pick that up? <laughs> yes, our friend. Wait, let me show you our friend. Did they put it, it back on her head, though? No, I don't know. Wait, we'll see. One, two, three. Hello. And then she the was... friend. See the friend? <laughs> I think the friend <laughs> fell down laughing. Like I cannot even. But that's not, that's a that's all a ride or die one problem though. That's a ride or die friend for real. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's cool. That's, that's the cool. one. That's, that's that's your true homie. That's a true homie right but there. But then I'll still take the video. I'll share the video. But cool. like, you know I got yeah. you. You know I got you. In fact, you have some friends that you're working with right now. Yeah. Um. So let's. Is, who who's working? To Steph Capella. 
Um, Are you in, in studio talks, with them or in talks? Oh, okay. In talks. Um, but I do know on Sunday I'm going to studio with Calligraph. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. And you have a an EP coming out. This is your debut. Is it, it's not it's coming debut out. EP. Yeah. It's actually out already. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on Mdunda right now. For but the culture. It, for the culture, yeah. It's on Mdunda right now. And you can get it on the link in my bio on my Instagram, which is Mumbi underscore K-A-Y. And it shall be on Songa as well on Monday. And then next week it shall be on Boomplay. How different are the two industries now that you're moving back home and now you, you know you, you, you see what's going on here? And yeah. then now you, of course, coming from Since, Miami and yeah, Dallas yeah. and everywhere um, else. It's funny. I've gotten this question a lot. To be honest, I have, I've, I've had absolutely no interest in the American music market. I feel like if it happens for me, it's going to happen accidentally without me even focusing on it. But I've always just known that um, Africa is where I want to base my career. Mm. So, fantastic. Yeah. How can yeah. people get you on social media? Um, my Instagram is Moonbee underscore K A Y. My Twitter is official Moonbee, and I'm working on using that a little bit better. Okay. And our Facebook page is just Moonbee. Yeah. yeah. All right, Christine. What to alafu izo tweets zote usome na sheng. Iyawa. No. Iyawa. Manze ndo tujaribu kufundisha mumbi zima vitu. Okay. So, take it away. Hey, shangi sa kwa hada, mina. Jaribu. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. uh, so me, Anna, say, madam, this girl, mumbi is hot. She looks at you and pap, you see a wife to be. Hey, sh. You better Mulu stop, bro. You better stop. <laughs> <laughs> Mula is asking, uh, what does she, how does she view Kenyan music, specifically women? Okay, I think female artists in the industry. That's what he was asking. Um, hmm, that's a, that's a different question. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we have some dope female artists right now. Oh, okay. Let's talk about the band Becca. I love them. There's a lot of upcoming female talent, which I'm, I'm down for. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel about the Kenyan music industry when it comes to women. All right, cool. Okay, cool. I'm part Christy. of that too, so. All and right, well. moving on. Uh, Ronnie saying, Mumbi, I'm a Maju for years, na, and I was at least on Gaswahili. Kuna mtu, I'm a Maju, 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 i am a maju i am a maju i I love you on Hawaii and America. I love you on Gosso Buddha. Christine, any more? Yes, yes. Uh, so John Mumbi has a great voice. Her story is inspiring too. She's saying it um, like it about the USA. Let her do some good collabs locally to get a fan base. Yeah. Some advice there. Uh, Definitely. Aspect saying, um, hey, Amina, <laughs> I want to wife her. Hmm. I see a ring. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Married to the music? Ah, uh, I'm not single. Okay. <laughs> Let's shut that down right now. Okay. <laughs> All right, because he might be watching. Hey, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I see jam. I see jam yeah, actually, yeah, on yeah. live TV. Live TV. There was that TZ artist who came the other the last week. Yeah. And he dumped his girlfriend here in the country. What? Yeah. I mean, if it's not working anytime, anyway, you just say it. You're like, babe. Just not feeling your was it like on TV? Like, I know it was. On oh, okay, because that, that would have been epic. Like, I want to see yeah, that. Like, video. one of the tweets coming in, like, Mumbi, it's me. It's so. <laughs> hey. All right, so Christina and Martin, we're done with the tweets, right? No, three more, three more. All right, go uh, ahead. Brian saying, wow, that chick Mumbi has got a voice from Venus. Aww. And Anthony saying, uh, Mumbi has an amazing voice. Mumbi and Mumgotea Sana. And the last one here. Actually, that was the last one from Anthony. <laughs> All right, thank you so thank much you. for that.